Have you ever seen one of these before? Well, these are just two liter bottles. Uh, I think they were Sprite before or something. No, I'm talking about this. This is a bottle vortex connector. And I'll show you what it does. Give it a bit of a spin. It creates this beautiful vortex whirlpool from the top going down into the bottom. Well, this is it. This is the entire secret of how these things work. It's simply a double threaded connector with a hole in the middle. That's all it is. It just screws on one side, you fill the other bottle up, screw this on top, and that's all that it is. But why do the whirlpools form? Well, let's take a look again. So what is a vortex? Well, a vortex is defined as a mass of fluid, especially a liquid, having a circular motion tending to form a cavity or a vacuum in the center of the circle. Now, usually whirlpools are formed by opposing currents in the ocean, or maybe a current running into an obstacle. Now, we don't have that here, so we actually have to kickstart it. The vortex we see here is actually a combination of air pressure, water pressure, and gravity. Now, as we start the water spinning, because we have to kickstart it, it pushes out against the bottle and leaves a hole in the middle. The hole in the middle allows the air at the bottom bottle to travel upwards. And as the air comes up, the water can flow into the bottom because there's now space for it because the air has moved to the top. The water dropping through the opening is called a vortex. This is a very cool scientific demonstration. You do not need anything fancy in order to make this experiment on your own at home. Let me show you. This you can buy, I'll include the link down below in the description, I think they cost like five dollars or something, but all you really need is a washer and some duct tape. Now I'm going to try and make this for you right now, just so to show you how incredibly easy this is. So ideally you'd empty out the water first, but I'm not going to, so haha. Place the washer on top of one bottle, and you put the other bottle on top of that. Then. You simply, oops, wrap duct tape around the edges. Let me see if I can do this while holding it. There we go. So now we're done. That really didn't take very long, but I did have to brace it on the ground. So all I've done is place the washer in between the two bottles and then duct tape the two bottles together. You can use bottles of any size as long as they are the same size. Make sure that there's a nice seal all the way around, and let's see if it works. There you go! Look at that! And that is just using a washer and some duct tape. So cool. I'm Jonathan Allers for Destructive Creativity. See you next time. Bye!